I must emphasize that the research we're talking about is not just our research. I mean, this is, this is a huge amount of collaboration. In fact, it's global. And the strides that have been made in the, the understanding of uh, pre-cancer in the cervix, you know, have, there have been many strides made in London uh, and many made in many other countries as well. So we now know, for example, there are viral causes for that. We now know that there are certain irritants which can cause that kind of change. Um, and increasingly, the screening programs that were started years ago by people like Eric Wachtel and are much more sophisticated. So we can look in much more detail at individual cells in the cervix and we can treat individual areas in the cervix um, in a way which actually prevents the development of the disease. So I think there's been quite a lot of change and I certainly wouldn't want Genesis Research Trust to take the credit for that. But we've been very much in those areas, of course and we will be a contributor towards it. All science groups that are any good collaborate all around the world. And I think that you know, a good science group seeds uh, its people. So for example, there was a time in Britain when this place was responsible for more than half the professors in our field in the United Kingdom, around, you know, whether it be in Leeds or Glasgow. So, I mean, that's true and certainly in my own lab, I used to have a map on the wall of all the country, you know, sort of a large flat map, coloured, coloured, and I had hundreds of pins stuck in it and different colours to the heads of the pins representing all the countries of the people who are in the lab. And there was one time in my lab when we could count at least 65 languages being, having been spoken in the lab. So I think the influence of institutions like this is not fully understood and that's one of the reasons why of course when we see um, xenophobia about immigration for example um, to us that's very very negative because of course places like the Genesis Research Trust see absolutely that we have a responsibility to make sure that we are training people from outside and we've always done that very well and they've come here to do their own research here and then gone back and developed it more, more, more indeed. A lot of our research it's taken up in the poorest countries in the world. So for example, at Imperial College, which is the main university, which of course we're working in, we have projects in virtually every African country, which are often devoted to the, to the scientific needs of that country, particularly our engineering staff looking at how to get better water supplies, for example. So there is a, generally, a general recognition of the importance of international collaboration, not just with scientists, but with communities and with people who have the needs that we would like to develop.